in the spirit of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s admonition to not remain silent, the Board of the League of Women Voters of Johnson County has voted to speak out on two issues important to all of us. The League's purpose is to empower voters and defend democracy. We do not endorse nor oppose any candidate or political party, but we do stand behind issues deemed by the League to be integral to our mission. Changing the Constitution is a matter to be taken very seriously, yet we've been asked to do that three times this year. In its 161 years of existence, the Kansas Constitution has been amended 98 times. 11 of those changes happened over a 29 year period between 1990 and 2019. Yet in 2022 alone, the legislature has placed three amendments on the ballot, one in the August primary election and two in the November 8th general election. Why? We believe that the legislative veto amendment HCR 5014 if passed, would shift the current balance of power of the Kansas government by allowing the legislature to revoke or suspend any rule or regulation adopted by the executive branch agencies. The League of Women Voters of Johnson County strongly believes that all powers of the U.S. government should be exercised within the constitutional framework of a balance among the three branches of government, legislative, executive, and judicial. If Amendment HCR 5014 passes, the legislature by a simple majority vote in each house could interfere with balance between the executive and legislative branches. Therefore, we suggest a no vote. The second proposed amendment, HCR 5022, also known as the Sheriff's Amendment, would require county sheriffs to be elected. The Sheriff of Johnson County is already in an elected position and the current election requirement has been in place statewide for 50 years without incident. If passed, the proposed amendment would shift from the local district attorney to the state attorney general the responsibility to handle any legal issues with the sheriff. The League of Women Voters of Johnson County Board of Directors opposes that shift and recommends a no vote on question two, submitted constitutional amendment. In August, we witnessed what informed and passionate voters could do when residents voted in record numbers. Our work is not complete. We encourage every voter to have a plan for casting their ballot. Will you vote early? When and where? Are you voting by mail? Make sure your ballot is mailed in plenty of time or take it to a secure ballot drop box. Do you know where to vote in person on November 8th? Check to see if your polling place has changed. Lastly, study the ballot ahead of time. Go to for, vote411.org or view a sample ballot from the state or local election office website. Amending the Constitution should never be taken lightly because every amendment affects every Kansan.